everyone, welcome back to Being a Fine Figure as today we will be taking a closer look at these new McFarland Digital, McFarland Toys Digital through DC Direct Aquaman, or classic Aquaman. He has his little, uh, uh, what is it, a water, water fairy? Fairy? Fairy, yeah. Quiz? Quiz? I don't know. I don't, I don't remember him much. I actually had to look it up. I don't know who he is. But we got a new classic looking uh, Aquaman with a... Finally, a nice uh, unbearded head sculpts. Uh, the ones I have actually has one. And of course, the one that I hate the most, the Flashpoint one was terrible. But we'll compare those later on. But this is the digital box, I guess, packaging that they're going to be using. I do appreciate here the little Aquaman symbol from back in the day. Uh, Super Friends, I guess, kind of reminds me of. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's got some accessories. It's got some hands. It's got a new some heads that's actually pretty good it looks really good so far it's got a nice image there and as always as we do here oh and that one just fell as we do here on the channel i am going to unbox this and i will be right back all right now that the figure is out of the packaging we will quickly go over the accessories uh it does come with this trident which it was already i mean this is uh, terrible i mean the packaging it was already the way it was in the box it was actually just like that and uh the plastic was already so it went around the plastic when the mold of the where the aquaman was and i mean this is it's terrible and it looks i mean it's very gummy it has no i mean most of them are but other ones like see this is the endless aisle one which is uh basically what it is it's a repaint of this um or i don't know if it's a repaint but it's just uh, yeah it's a same one uh this one it felt a lot sturdier this is just very gummy. I mean, very, uh, I mean, it's just very weak. Um, this one here, kind of, it is a little harder, so. But, again, same Endless Winter. I mean, it is the Endless Winter uh, Aquaman, so. Um, obviously, we're just going to go over whatever um, paint and details on it. So, if you have that Endless Winter, it's the same thing. It's just that same repaint down to the Trident. The only difference with this is that it actually comes with an extra set of hands. Got the swimming hands, I guess. And he comes with an extra head, little smiley face. Uh, and he's got all the wavy hair. I don't know if they were trying to simulate him being water. Um, and it's all flowing that way, I guess, with the current. Um, it's got a little detail. It doesn't have a lot of face sculpt there. It's got the nice there. You, know, you can see the cheekbones there. Uh, but very simple. I. Originally, I was using the Flash head sculpt from Flashpoint on the Endless um, Winter, and it actually looked pretty cool. But this, these, the colors here is more classic. They're more vibrant. So I'll probably be switching out the head for that one because I think it's going to look cool. Because these head sculpts, just to let you know and give you a forewarning, that they don't match the skin tone on the neck. So because um, obviously, you know, the, the, it's more rubber. And that is just a little harder plastic, so uh, they don't match. The tone on the skin does not match. Uh, the Endless Winter, which had the bearded long hair, uh, for all intents and purposes, it actually did match the skin tone on the neck. So, But this one here, it's way off, so, and you'll see that uh, when we look, take a closer look at the figure. And, of course, he comes with a little water fairy. Fairy? I keep saying fairy. Fairy. Uh, Quisp, I think his name. Quasp? Quisp? I don't know. I'm not too familiar with it. Uh, but I wish it would have had a little bit more articulation. If they could have found a way to get the elbows and the knees, it would have been perfect. Um, he does have swivel in the head, so you can turn it around. I thought it had some swivel, like up and down, but I guess it was just me forcing it, so it does not. Uh, the arms do go around. Well, they go around, but they easily come off. But you can just snap that back on. But this one is very loose. And then, of course, the leg kind of swivel this way. So, um, I don't know. You can... Make him tap dance or walk like Charlie, like a penguin. Uh, but he's got the big feet. Uh, he's got some uh, details on it. Very long feet and the face sculpt is just very spass out. So again, not familiar with him at all. Uh, I do know that they uh, were friends, but I think they didn't have uh, share the same idea. So now he's, I guess, they're not friends or he's an enemy of uh, Aquaman or whatever. But, you know. One of these days, I'll, I'll try to find the story of him and, and get into more detail about who that character is. But, you know, it's a nice little addition for the price. 
you know, you get all these. Oh, I, I forgot, I forgot. He also comes with, of course, the standard uh, stand. This one also now actually has the McFarlane's digital logo on it. And of course, you do come with the card. Nice image, same image that was in the back of the card. This is actually a nice little image, him sitting on the throne there, pondering what he wants or uh, coming to the realization that, you know, he doesn't want to be king. And of course, he's got a little origin there. So if you want to read it, uh, uh, most of these cards are basically all the same. So you can pause it now. And of course, it comes with the instructions of how to download your NF NFT. So if you are still into that, I didn't care much for them. I don't even remember who the NFT for this is. Did I forget? Who the hell was Anyway, I don't remember who the NFT for this is, but here's the instructions for it. Again, i not, you know, uh, something I'm not going to do. I, I'm not into that sort of stuff. So now on to the figure. So like I said before, it is a reprint of Endless Winter, but I... Love the new vibrant uh, green. It's a classic look. Kind of reminds me of the Super Friends cartoon, which I was a huge fan growing up. Uh, the head sculpt again. This one we got the serious one. Let me fix this up a little. This one here is a more serious one. I wish they would have put a little bit more seriousness uh, frown on it. This one just looks like you know, like he just woke up. Um, you know, so both the same. And again, as I was stating before. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the skin tone and the face and the neck does not match. But from far away, it, I mean, you can notice a little bit of a difference, but it's not too bad. Now, um, brighter, I mean, tit for tat is the same as the Endless Winter, which we'll be bringing on. Everything, I mean, there's nothing new. The hands, uh, the body, the hinges, I mean, everything, the fin. Um, yeah, I'm all over the place today trying to jump into an ocean of water that's not there um it's all the same but i do like the and you can see the little gold highlights on it that's actually pretty cool uh, that looks pretty good it's kind of like the scales of a fish you know makes a lot of sense something that the other figures didn't have which was great and of course i noticed that he does have the uh his, his emblem there on the shoulder which i was not familiar with that I guess it makes a nice touch. I mean, but yeah, it's, it's just a repaint. The colors are a lot better. Uh, this is a classic look, so it's going to look good with, you know, the classic Batman, uh, Superman, uh, uh, Flash, you know, classic. We have the Flashpoint, which is probably as classic that we're going to get. But I don't know, maybe someday we should get an actual classic one too. Uh, the Wonder Woman, you know, all that. It's going to look very good, especially now for me. That I've, uh, I can actually build a McFarlane uh, Super Friends uh, shelf, which is cool. Um, if only we can get the Wonder Twins. That would be uh, amazing. I mean, you have all these off characters that he do. Let's get some uh, uh, Super Twins, uh, Zane and Jenna, I guess. J Jaina? Uh, damn, I haven't, I haven't talked about them in a while. I forgot their names. But the Wonder Twins would be cool. And even the, the monkey would be cool. Uh, bleep so but again let's get rid of uh quisp or quasp or whoever that is and this is the endless winter uh darker tone uh, more of a military green on the and then you can see it's like the shine is also on the scale but it's not as uh here they've, they've improved it it's a lot better and the brightness sticks out um but yeah besides the head sculpt it's all the same uh, so it's not much there everything is exactly the same so I guess if you were going to use the figure as a you know as a repaint this this would have been it um, it had everything except the coloring and the, the head so um, of course the flashpoint ones which you know I hate it pretty much has the same body it's just the head sculpt it's terrible I mean this is the same sculpt but that face man that screaming face is just it reminds me of one of those um, bully kids in the, in the 80s movies and then they get beat up and then they cry. And then, of course, the page puncher, Aquaman, which I kind of dig it after a while. It, it kind of grew on me. I didn't think I was going to like the quadrant on it on his shoulder there, but it kind of grew. Um, he does have an older look uh, for the head sculpt. But the details of this uniform is actually not bad, so I, I'm digging it. Uh, the problem is that it's sometimes... 
uh, heavy on that quadrant, so he falls off a lot. So for the most part, I do not keep him on the shelf. I usually keep him in my toy trunk where I keep uh, some of the figures when I, uh, you know, rotate them around here and there. Um, because he just, even with the stand, he falls off. But now, going over the Tritons, like I said, also, this is a, a repaint of the Endless Winter. So it is uh, it's terrible. This version, this material that they use is terrible. Um, so I don't know how the hell I'm going to keep it straight. So I'll probably just swap it out for one of these. Uh, compared to the Flashpoint one, this was actually one of the most sturdiest, straightest Trident I have. It's actually very nice. But it's more than a Trident because it has four. So it's no longer a Trident. And of course, the Page Puncher one, which it's like a royal, that really defines the royalty. I mean, the, the, this is actually pretty good. It's one of my favorite tridents there. So, and again, this is just terrible. It should have uh, used the same material on this. And of course, why compare him to Aqualad here and how he looks next to the uh, Page Puncher Aqualad, which. Uh, I actually really like this figure. They did a good job on it. The details on it is actually pretty cool. And see how he stands next to it. I mean, it's very bright. Again, this, this Aquaman is very, very bright. And of course, you know, we have the Aquaman Lost Kingdom figure, which as you can see, another shade of orange and, and green that they've used. So all the... Aquamans that I own are all have and I also have the stealth suits which I, I don't care much for them because the height on them is terrible it's supposed to be the same figure and they're like this tall and so this is one of my the favorite movie ones like the first one was terrible from the Justice League version but this is one of my favorites and of course you can't have a classic Aquaman if you don't want to pair him up with one of his greatest enemies the Black Manta so this one from the Lost Kingdom can easily pass for not only the movie, if you want to set up a movie uh, team or shelf, or if you want to do the a comic book version or a cartoon. I mean, he just looks like it. And he does look a lot better than, as far as uh, pairing him up with any of your shelves, than the Page Puncher, which, mind you, this is, I think this figure is awesome. They did a great job with it, especially when you put the, the blades. I took them off just for, for now. But with the blades on it, this is actually a pretty good figure. But, you know, he kind of looks more for the uh, Aquaman with the quadrant and, and that, that version of it. And he can also pass for a movie version. I mean, he's uh, very high tech. So. so, again, this is part of his digital line for NFTs. I, I didn't know people were still doing it, but McFarlane still does it. I mean, it's not something that's in the news hardly anymore. And um, all power to you if you, you're still into that and you uh, uh, get those figures on, you know, those NFTs, I, you know, NFTs anyway. But as always, I don't know, put down in the comments, tell me what you think of this version. Is this the classic version that we were expecting or could they have done something better? Or, you know, if they could have maybe... I think the face sculpt would have, should have been a little bit more uh, older, I guess. You, know, you just kind of have that, that younger, uh, early 20s, you know, look. Uh, no expression. Another face sculpt would have been better uh, with a little fiercer uh, going in the battle expression. Um, but this one's all right. But again, I think I'm just going to have to. I am going to have to. What do I do with it? What do I do with it? Barry. Oh. Put, I no, I can't find it now. But um, the Barry Allen face call from the Flashpoint, it's exactly what I'm going to use on this. I think it's going to look cool on it. And that's how I would explain it. So, as always, thank you for tuning in, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, hit the notifications so you know when your video is long. It goes a long way. And as always, continue to support each other. Continue to be a fine figure. And I will see you later.